for business news, and we head over to 6 a &E News and check in with Mike Apple this morning. And Mike, we have some staggering stats when it comes to how the increase in the on from provinces uh, minimum wage, how that is really going to affect us and trickle down even to the customer. Yeah, indeed, Tammy. Good morning. Uh, businesses, large and small, are chiming in on the proposed hike to the minimum wage, which is going up to fifteen dollars per hour. As proposed by the Wynn government by 2019, it's not just that change to labor laws, but also uh, just some other legislation uh, set to be enacted regarding uh, the amount of time off that workers get, uh, vacation time in general, uh, part-time versus full-time staffing, that sort of thing. Magna International, one of the largest employers in the province, uh, largest auto parts uh, producer across the country, uh, saying that they got to slow down a little bit on this uh, minimum wage hike specifically, but just in a general sense, they're worried about their their ability to stay competitive because not just wage costs are going up, but we've got hydro uh, rates over the past couple of years up and other uh, sort of uncompetitive factors at play within the provincial economy. So that's a huge employer. At the same time, we've got uh, smaller employers chiming in. The restaurant industry is warning that they're going to have to adapt big time to a uh, hike to the minimum wage, and that is going to lead to either higher prices for consumers or uh, just fewer jobs for the restaurant industry. 98% uh, of uh, restaurant uh, owners surveyed by Restaurant Canada uh, said they're going to have to raise menu prices. 81% will have to lay off staff, and some say they'll just have to close up shop. And uh, so, again, it's not about raising the minimum wage. There's no argument about that specifically. It's about the pace of change. 30% increase over 18 months. Also, the Canadian Federation of Independent Business in with its own survey this morning saying a third of their uh, membership say they could close or move to the United States or just look for lower cost jurisdictions in reaction to all of this. So something to watch. Coming up today, we'll have inflation data due from StatsCan that's already got the Canadian dollar moving higher in anticipation above 79 and a half cents U.S. Price for oil's on pace for a pretty good week. We've got the NASDAQ on a 10-day winning streak. Tech stocks remain on a tear. And also of note, uh, from the retail sector this morning, the Sears Canada uh, liquidation sale at uh, upwards of 60 stores begins today as well.